Hello, this is Brian Rowe with MTG Deck Tech, and I'm trying a new program out here to record. Uh, please give me any feedback. I heard that the last program was recording a little bit quiet, so hopefully this is a lot louder. Now, this is a deck tech for a Planeswalker EDH deck, which is basically an EDH deck that uses a Planeswalker as the commander. It also only uses more modern cards since Planeswalkers were introduced. I may do a separate video if people are interested on the kind of details of the format, but I want to go over what has become my favorite, which is my second EDH Planeswalker deck, which is... Turbo Tez. Now the commander for this is Tez Seeker, and Tez really jumped out to me as an interesting commander when I saw him played in Vintage. In Vintage, he has the ability to go grab a Time Vault, take infinite turns by untapping that Time Vault each turn, or to grab you Moxes or a Lotus very quickly to accelerate your deck. If I end up really liking this deck in Planeswalker EDH and Planeswalker EDH becomes more popular, I'll definitely look at picking up an altered artwork Tez like this one, which I found online. Now let's look at Tez a little bit closer. Tez has three abilities. Number one, he can untap two target artifacts. This is great. It allows you to attack with a large creature like a worm coil and then untap it as a defender. It also allows you to untap two forms of mana acceleration and use those. It has a lot of potential also with cards that let you proliferate, which is very good in the environment because everybody has a commander. Many of the proliferation artifacts out there are extremely popular in the environment. But the reason that I'm using Tez is not that first ability. It's this second ability. Search your library for an artifact card with a converted mana cost of X or less and put it into play, then shuffle your library. This is just purely amazing in blue. Blue, more than any other color, wants to have huge amounts of mana to do incredibly broken things, like use Rite of Replication to copy somebody else's prime time, and then grab all the mana out of or all of the land out of your deck and put it directly into play. This second ability basically gives you mana ramp for no cost or very low cost and it speeds your deck up significantly. Even if Tez gets out and Tez gets killed in the first turn or two that he's out, never gets out to his ultimate, you're often two turns of mana ahead of anybody else on the board except possibly a green player. For this reason, I really, really like Taz as the commander of this deck. Now I'm going to switch over to my tapped out account here and go through the deck in a little bit more detail. Please feel free to give me any comments or ideas on ways that I can improve this deck, if you come up with any. So here we're over at tapped out. The main ideas here are massive mana acceleration some broken sorceries, a little bit of control, and my favorite ways to steal my opponent's stuff. So in the instant spot, I've got several different forms of card draw and different counter spells. Hinder is especially good. Anytime you can put someone's spell, including their commander, on the bottom of their deck, it, it's wonderful and gives you a great advantage, although it does draw a little bit of hate from other people. Thirst for Knowledge is just a nice... Uh, card draw, as is Predict or Fact or Fiction. Jace's Ingenuity, I've got an altered artwork in, version in there that I've got a little bit better artwork on it, but it's a nice way to draw. But you're pretty much seeing that the instants cover your draw and control spells. Uh, Tez is the only Planeswalker in this particular format. You're not allowed to put in Planeswalkers unless it's your commander. The Sorceries here fall into that category with All is Dust as an incredible sorcery here because almost everything that you play is going to be artifacts to support Tez. Witchbane Orb is another great one that I love in this environment. It stops people from playing Sauron Markov and hitting you down to 10 in a single shot. It also stops a lot of the burn that needs to that other people play to redirect to your planeswalker, giving you hex proof. Really nice. Got some more mana acceleration in here. Uh, proliferate is very popular in this environment. The ability to pump up your own planeswalker a few times or to uh, deal with infect or minus one minus one counters works out very well in this deck. 
Mindslaver is a little bit on the mean side. I I put it in here even though it's a casual deck, but everybody that I'm playing with is really trying to break the format, and Mindslaver is one of the fastest ways to break the format. In fact, I may even suggest us possibly banning Mindslaver. Pithing Needle is great because everyone has a commander, and you can name those commanders if they're really large, and some colors have a little bit of difficulty dealing with a creature. Mind control is decent. It fits the theme of stealing stuff. I've got more card draw and lots of artifacts to copy things. The Phyrexian Revoker in here is a lot more fragile than Pithing Needle, but it's a way to get a second Pithing Needle. Something else to point out about Tez is he gets to search for all of these answers to your opponent's stuff, as long as they're artifacts. Viet's Champion is decent in here. Worm Coil Engine is amazing, though, especially with the way that you can uh, increase mana very quickly. I've got one Eldrazi in here to see how he goes. This environment, since it's only got cards that have been printed with or after the Planeswalkers, doesn't have bribery in here. I normally wouldn't play this in an EDH style deck. Lodestone Golem does tend to draw a bit of hate from other people and may end up going. But overall I'm very happy with this deck. I think it takes some of the best aspects of blue and then also plays it with wonderful mana acceleration and has lots of options. I recommend checking out the format and we'll probably do a video here soon. This has been Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech going over my Planeswalker EDH deck. This deck is available at Tapped Out under um, mtg-decks slash turbo dash tez dash pw dash edh. Uh, it is my tapped out profile there is Sart, S-A-R-T. Please also feel free to get a hold of me via Twitter, Brian at Sartorus. Thank you. Any comments on this video style or how it's worked out are greatly appreciated or ideas on how to make these type of videos better in the future. Thanks.